cyclic photophosphorylation. It was first reported by Frankel in a bacterium, Rhodospirillium rubrum. Only photosystem 1 participates in cyclic photophosphorylation. During this process, electrons liberated from a chlorophyll molecule returns to the same chlorophyll after losing some of their energy. It is common in photosynthetic bacteria and algae. P700 of photosystem 1 absorbs energy, gets excited and liberates energized electrons. These electrons are accepted by ferredoxin. From reduced ferredoxin, the electron is passed to cytochrome like cytochrome B6, cytochrome F and finally to plastocyanin. Finally, electrons return to excited P700 of photosystem 1, bringing it to ground state. During this cyclic electron transport, one ATP molecule is synthesized in between ferredoxin and cytochrome B6 and another between cytochrome B6 and F. O2 is not evolved during this photochemical reaction. If plants are exposed continuously to 683 nanometers, photosynthesis decreases due to only photosystem 1. No photolysis and NADPH2 not formed. Non-cyclic photophosphorylation. It was first reported by Arnon. Photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 take part in non-cyclic photophosphorylation. During this process, electrons liberated from chlorophyll do not return to the same chlorophyll. Hill and Bendel proposed Z scheme for electron transport. Photosystem 1 absorbs light, becomes excited and liberates energized electrons. They pass through ferredoxin reducing substances, FRS, ferredoxin and finally reach NADP plus NADP minus FD minus Oxidoreductase enzyme, a flavoprotein, helps the transfer of electrons from FD to NADP+. Simultaneously, photosystem 2 absorbs light and liberates energy-rich electrons. These electrons are transported through quinone Q, plastoquinone PQ, cytochrome B6, cytochrome F, plastocyanin QC, and finally reach photosystem 1. Thus, the electron deficiency in photosystem 1 is filled by electrons transported from photosystem 2. During this transport, ATP is synthesized between cytochrome B6 and cytochrome F. Electron loss in photosystem 2 is filled by supply of electrons from water by photolysis resulting in supply of electrons to photosystem 2 and protons H plus to NADP. Oxygen is liberated during this process. Thus, during non-cyclic photophosphorylation an ATP is synthesized and NADP plus is reduced to NADPH plus H plus and 1 by 2 O2 is formed. Water is the electron donor and NADP plus is electron acceptor. Sunlight supplies the necessary energy to drive the electron from water to NADP plus. The electron lost by photosystem 2 did not return back but was transferred to photosystem 1. The electron lost from photosystem 1 did not cycle back and was consumed in reducing NADP. Therefore, it is called non-cyclic electron transport. During light reaction of photosynthesis, ATP, NADPH plus, H plus, and O2 are formed. ATP, NADPH plus, H plus, are utilized in dark phase to reduce CO2. Hence, 
They are known as assimilatory power or reducing power. Let us see the differences between cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation.